Thanks for tuning in to Stocks of the Hour. I'm Abby Phillips. Novartis Group via a subsidiary has been granted a restricted banking licence by APRA. The banking business will launch as the International Bank of Australia. We spoke with Peter Cook, Managing Director of Novartis, about the announcement today. Novartis Group has now been able to be awarded a bank licence for the International Bank of Australia. With a bank licence, we now have banking services, along with our payment services that rely on issuing licenses, acquiring licenses and cross-border licenses. Our revenue run rate is more than 40 million per year. With the funding coming from the Reckon Dividend, we'll have over $20 million of available cash at the end of November, on top of our shareholding of 91% in the bank. This is a unique ASX listed group, the culmination of many years of strategy of building these assets. Shares are trading 46% higher at 27 cents. Rare Earths and Phosphate developer RareX has signed a binding MOU with Ord River District Cooperative. Under the terms of the MOU, the parties will negotiate an offtake and distribution agreement. They will also develop a roadmap for phosphate products produced from the Cummins Range Rare Earths and Phosphate project. We spoke to Jeremy Robinson, Managing Director of RareX, about the announcement today. Today's announcement is an important step forward for RareX. We've uh, executed a binding MOU with Ordco, which is the main supplier of fertiliser products in the north of Western Australia. Uh, this provides for us to uh, supply uh, phosphate products, fertilisers, etc., to the local communities. It gives us a licence to operate uh, in those regions as well. What is R&D in trying to collect uh, carbon credits? So an important step forward in uh, de-risking our project as we move it forward to development and financing over the, the coming year or two. Shares are trading 9.8% higher at six cents. Alltech Chemicals has designed a new sodium alumina solid state battery pack. This battery pack has a 60 kilowatt hour capacity, is weatherproof for outdoor installation and is designed for the renewable energy and grid storage market. We spoke to CEO and Managing Director Iggy Tan regarding the announcement today. Uh, this 60 kilowatt battery pack is rated at 620 volts and about 100 amps per hour. And what's interesting about it, it is uses common table salt or sodium ions, which is really cheap and available everywhere. So it, the, our battery technology is lithium free, cobalt free, uh, graphite free and copper free. And this limits the exposure to the critical metal uh, price rises that we have seen in recent months. Our batteries have no flammable liquid electrolyte. We use solid state technology, and this makes the battery virtually fireproof and explosion proof. Our batteries operate in very cold climates, and the life of the battery is nearly beyond 15 years. Very exciting technology, and we've recently announced our, our joint venture with the German Battery Institute Fraunhofer IKTS to build a 100 megawatt plant in Saxony, Germany. Shares are trading 7% higher at 12 cents.